I'm Tony Poulos and I'm here today with Double Vora who is the VP of Pre-Sales at Elite Core Technologies. Double, welcome. Thank Great you. to have you here. Yeah. I'm really interesting about uh, reading so much about Wi-Fi offload for 3G operators and I've never quite understood the value and benefits of it. Would you give me some explanation to why uh, it's so important and, and what Elite Core is doing uh, in that area? Well, uh, you have to understand how subscribers are using internet okay if, 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 if they look at your whole day of, of usage of internet 80 percent of time they are stationary probably they are in office cafe in malls or they're, they're doing meetings somewhere where actually there is no need of mobility it's more of accessing internet via via wireless or or, or mechanism and and uh, uh, that's where you can actually have uh, best of both worlds. I mean, when you are a mobile, you use 3G and, and use specific applications like uh, e email and, and specific few important enterprise applications. Whereas you are in, if you are a stationary, you are sitting in some cafe, mall, uh, you could actually use Wi-Fi, which is quite easy to access. Most of the, if you look at Southeast Asia, I mean, most of the users are using mobile for accessing internet. Mobile penetration is higher compared to the population that is there in each of these emerging countries. Which means that uh, wherever user subscriber is, if, if they can uh, get internet access over Wi-Fi, it's, it's fairly seamless. Mobiles are well equipped with Wi-Fi access. And it's easy to uh, even uh, conversate, talk, and be always online. Is it an efficient offload methodology for 3G networks? So we're talking about 3G operators here that also run Wi-Fi or WiMAX networks even to, to satisfy those customer requirements. Um, is, it, is it a growing trend in the region? Are we seeing more and more operators doing that? Yes, absolutely, because uh, the way, uh, I mean, a lot of people say data tsunami, right? And, and that, that tsunami is really hitting hard to the operators because uh, the, the key generator is mobile device, right? Uh, launch of iPhone, launch of iPad actually has generated a tsunami of usage of internet, video, and all kind of things uh, that could happen around applications. Now that actually, uh, if, if you boil down to the pipe that operator has to build, would, would be huge if, if they go with a 3G spectrum capacity. Look at the economies in, in, in uh, typically in Southeast Asia where spectrum size is less than 10 megahertz or not even uh, 20 megahertz at, at times. So consuming the data on, on such a low spectrum actually doesn't fit in the business case itself uh, in terms of uh, revenue per bit that you got it. Whereas if, if, you, uh, if you have uh, alternate technologies like Wi-Fi, Cost of building a Wi-Fi network is low vis-a-vis -vis 3G. Spectrum cost obviously is nil because it's a public spectrum. And uh, the devices which actually generates this tsunami are well equipped with Wi-Fi as an access mechanism. People, I mean, they, they just turn on the Wi-Fi and then 3G gets down. I mean, devices are really smart these days. So uh, that, that, that has propelled uh, need in the operators to, to have a offload mechanisms. And then as we move on, uh, they will be more sophisticated where, where uh, subscribers don't need to worry whether they have to buy a Wi-Fi voucher, if they are getting in hotel, probably they'll just use uh, their own 3G subscription, access Wi-Fi, at times in certain locations, access it free as well. And, and uh, that's, that's how the uh, operator can address uh, the, the revenue versus the data tsunami gap. And what exactly does Elite Core do to help operators handle Wi-Fi offload? Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I mean, we, we have been doing this broadband business uh, since last a decade, I would say 12 years to be precise. And, and uh, the way we help is our end-to-end uh, -end Wi-Fi service management platform that we have on board, which typically sits in the operator's packet core network. and, and uh, enables operator to launch Wi-Fi services with a seamless mechanism. What, what does seamless mean, right? If the, if, if the mobile 
uh, if the subscriber is using a mobile and he just turns on Wi-Fi, he doesn't need to worry whom, how he will be charged for, what would be the, uh, where he has to connect to. So it's, it's, it, it, it's more of, uh, look, at, look at iPad, right? It's more of the feel of that iPad which drives the business, right? Same is the service. When you, when you really make service more, more tempting, more seamless, the usage actually grows rapidly. Right? And that's where we enable operators. We, we don't ask operators to build a, another silo for Wi-Fi. We rather integrate with their ecosystem by, by talking to HLR to ensure that uh, subscriber 3G credentials are checked rather than uh, purchasing a new voucher and doing a whole balance around it. Second important point is subscriber is a 3G subscriber for sure. That's why he's being offloaded, right? Yeah. So he has a 3G balance as well. Now, uh, it, it doesn't make sense to have a Wi-Fi balance as a separate. Uh, that, that would derail the use of service. Then he has to run around shops. Okay, I, I have to buy Wi-Fi balance. I have to buy Wi-Fi balance. Rather, what we do is we integrate with existing iron and charging systems. So, irrespective of whether user is accessing Wi-Fi or 3G, for him, it's the same balance which is being used. So, uh, yeah. that that's kind of... Uh, reduces the overall capex needed to come out with a Wi-Fi as a service, as well as uh, operator is using their existing IT ecosystem and capitalizing on that as well. And we're here in the Asia region, a uh, lot of emerging markets. Do they have unique requirements? Very different. I mean, if you compare with developed markets, you will see uh, in developed markets, most of the cases Wi-Fi is free. Right, where because operators have tied up with the channel providers or cafe coffee days of and baristas of the world, where they earn it in a via freemium mode. Whereas in case of emerging economies, uh, your ARPUs are low, right? And then on top of it, if you tend to make Wi-Fi service free, it doesn't make sense. So what operators do is they they devise a mechanism where they can address larger audience. Like if you look at certain economies in Southeast Asia, smart mo smartphone penetration is low, though it is growing. But then if you look at out of 10 smartphone uh, phones available in market, I would say three would be smartphones, seven would be feature phones, yeah. right? Which, doesn't, which, which clearly indicates that they don't have a, uh, a sophisticated mechanism to access Wi-Fi. So what Elite Core platform has built with, with this kind of, specifically for emerging markets, mechanism to access Wi-Fi via SMS, okay? So it becomes, you just di uh, dial a number, give, uh, say that I uh, give a SMS, you are authenticated and you are, you are uh, ready to go and access internet. Another mechanism is uh, via subscriber Mac, which is basically your, your unique ID by which you connect. So. Such uh, innovations uh, have, have, are typically happening in a market where there are a lot of drivers in terms of uh, low, low category phones. Though they have internet capabilities, but they don't have a sophisticated capabilities like smartphones. But users are used to of accessing uh, Facebook, social networking, accessing email as well on those phones. So they surely need internet. So. And that, that enables operator to cover larger mass. And when you are launching a service, unless until you are not addressing masses, you actually, it actually is not profitable as far as the mobile is concerned. Look at the India economy, right? 700 million subs. And it's going, I mean, 90 million uh, per month, per uh, two months. They are growing in the same speed. So it's a, it's a huge potential. And unless until you don't, bring it to masses, it's, it's not going to be a profitable venture. So that's where we are enabling operators vis-a-vis -vis if you look at in the developed economies. Looks like you're in the right place though, yep. and the right time. I mean, uh, it's a growing uh, growing world, we are also growing and, and then uh, that's where innovation happens. Yeah. Unless until you don't have a challenge or a problem, there is no opportunity to grow. Darvel, thank you so much for spending time with me today thank you. and then now I understand more about Wi-Fi offload. Thank you, thank you for your time.